Nick, you've been following developments closely. What are the Russian authorities saying? What state media reporting on this too? Um, I mean, there have been other uh, attacks reported. Um, apparently, um, a, a group of uh, Ukrainian um, saboteurs, as the Russian uh, channels call them, tried to um, get into a village on the border in the Bryansk region, which adjoins uh, the Belgrad region. Uh, that happened yesterday. There was also a, a drone attack on a Russian military vehicle, killing two servicemen also in that Bryansk region. And the, the governor of Belgorod region uh, was actually yesterday in a small uh, settlement called uh, Shabinkino, uh, which is very close to the Ukrainian border, which came under Ukrainian artillery fire. And he, he had trouble getting out of that town. And apparently one person was killed there. Um, whether that's included in the two dead we know from the region or not, um, it, it's unclear at the moment. Um, and there's also been a, a, an attempted drone attack on an oil refining in Krasnodar territory. Now, all of this seems to tie in with what the um, Ukrainian presidential aide, uh, Mikhailo uh, Podialyak, was saying yesterday, uh, that uh, preliminary operations for the Ukrainian counteroffensive against the Russians have begun with destroying supply lines or blowing up depots behind lines. So presumably these attacks are all part of that process uh, ahead of that much-anticipated Ukrainian counteroffensive. That's an interesting point, Nick, actually, because it sets about what um, some, of her, some are calling the plausible deniability of, for Ukraine, that these are pro-Ukrainian Russian groups uh, claiming some responsibility for previous attacks. We're waiting to see what's, what's happening in this latest one. Set some context for us, if you can, Nick, on the importance of, of Belgorod and this region being so close to Ukraine's border. Well, I mean, the, the, the fact is, is that this is a, a, a region which is... Um, not very far from uh, Kharkiv, which was one of the uh, major objectives of, of the Russian offensive when it began last year, of the Russian invasion. And they never succeeded in taking that city, of course. And it, it, it's an area which is so close to the fighting that's going on in Ukraine that you would think the Russians would really have that area well defended. And this has been one of the complaints of Belgorod's uh, governor, Gladkov, uh, who's, who said that he's got serious questions for the Russian uh, military command because it seems fairly easy for the Ukrainians to cross that border. It, it, it's pretty porous. There doesn't seem to be any major defensive uh, positions in that region. And this is all designed to unsettle Russian public opinion and to bring the war to the Russians on their territory. And, of course, the Kremlin's not very happy about this at all. Uh, the Russian ambassador to the UK... Uh, has been telling the BBC that um, the use of British supplied munitions, uh, missiles, etc., um, make it a legitimate target. And um, we've seen overnight uh, 53, 54 uh, drones falling on Kiev in the biggest attack on Kiev since the war began. Nick, good to talk to you and have your contacts. Nick Holdsworth, our former Moscow correspondent in London.